Hello, Primary 5. Today we're going to study a new text. Open book B, page 45. The title is A Whole New Game. Listen carefully. Adrian and his new friend Manuel did not speak the same language. Adrian spoke English and Manuel spoke Spanish, but they found ways to communicate. They pointed to things. They drew pictures. Sometimes they acted out what they wanted to say. And they each learned a few words in others' language. That helped a lot too. They ate dinner at each other's house. So they both learned to enjoy new foods. Adrian discovered that Manuel was from Honduras. This word means a country in Central America. Adrian did not know where that was, but Manuel showed him on a map. It was so far. One day, Adrian decided to invite Manuel to play basketball. He didn't know if Manuel knew how to play, but he was hoping that he could. When the two boys got together after school, Adrian took Manuel to the basketball court. He said, watch me, to Manuel, and then he shot a basketball through the hoop. This word means a circular band of metal. Then he tossed, this word means to throw something. Then he tossed the ball to Manuel. Adrian didn't think that Manuel would be able to score a basket, but he scored easily. Then Manuel tossed the basketball back to Adrian. And pointed to him. It was Adrian's turn. For the next hour, the two boys played. Manuel was a good player, much better than Adrian had thought he would be. The next day, Adrian told his other friends about Manuel. He told them what a good player Manuel was. He told his other friends that he wanted Manuel to play basketball with them after school. At first, they didn't know if that was a good idea. How could Manuel play if he didn't understand English? He doesn't understand some English, Adrian said. Besides, he understands basketball. That's what's important. Adrian's friends agreed to let Manuel play. And they made plans for that afternoon. Everyone gathered after school to play basketball. Manuel arrived, and Adrian introduced him. Soon, they started to play. Everyone agreed that Manuel was an excellent player. They were glad that Adrian had invited him. They spoke English, Manuel spoke Spanish, but they had basketball in common. That was what mattered. I hope you understood everything in the text. Now we can start answering the questions. Number one, choose the correct answer. The first question is, what likely will happen next time Adrian will play basketball? <clears throat> and you think, is it going to be A, he won't invite Manuel to play, or B, he will invite Manuel to play? Or C. Adrian won't play basketball. Or D. Adrian won't be friends with Manuel. I think you get the right answer, which is B. Highlight B. He will invite Manuel to play. Question number two. How do Manuel and Adrian solve their problem? 
A, they yell loudly. B, they point at things and draw. C, they do not spend time together. D, they go to handles. Think first. I think you have the right answer, which is B. They point at things and drew. Question number three. What does Adrian learn? A. How to say a few words in Spanish. B. How to play basketball. C. How to buy tickets to hunters. D. How to run faster. Think first. Yes, <clears throat> the answer is going to be A. How to say a few words in Spanish. The next question. Answer the questions. What is the author's purpose? Now I need to think of the purpose of this text. I think you all know that the text is going to be to have fun. So write it down. The next question is going to be, choose one character and describe it. And why do you think that? So, you can choose one of the characters that we have and describe it. Tell us what do you think about it, okay? So, and tell us why do you think that? You're going to find details or evidence in the text. The last question, what's your favorite sport and why? Like the other question, it's going to be according to you. You're going to write your favorite sport and tell us why. And now we have finished the lesson. I hope that you understood everything. Goodbye.